welcome back to Studio Lou. So today I'm doing a journal flip through of number five of six of my series of Sidewinder journals that have been made from a collection of vintage books. This one I'm calling Owls Under the Fluttery Moon. So as a reminder, a Sidewinder journal is two books that are together and so they open from both sides. Um, this particular one is, um, <clears throat> on this side we have these lovely little owls underneath this moon, and on this side we have some lovely butterflies and plants. Um, so this journal is bound with um, fabric on both sides, and it is, um, the images are stitched onto the book covers, and I've done an eyelet in both sides of the, um, the panel of the book, and then we have vintage seam binding that's tied through um, to close the book. So just as a reminder, this is how a Sidewinder journal works. You've got two books kind of in one, so you could use it for two different purposes. You could have two people writing in it. You could have this be a side where you place pictures or collages or artwork, while this is a, more of a traditional writing journal. Um, you can do whatever you like with it. And um, it's just a more interesting kind of fun take on journals. So on this side, we have this lovely image of these cute little owls sitting on a branch under the moon. And on this side, I've done a little collage with these butterflies on this background of sort of blue pine trees and some nice um, leaves in the background. <clears throat> so let's start from this side. Now these journals are nearly naked, meaning that they're ready for you to embellish and decorate with your own ephemera um, or just to write in. Um, so they're full of fun and interesting papers, um, but there's no pockets and ephemera inside them. They are ready to be personalized. So when you open, you've got this lovely sort of crisscross plaid um, paper and then some blue paper. This is jelly printed vintage um, songbook. And um, this is a um, magic paper. It's from an Etsy shop and I forget the name, but it's like one of my favorite papers to use in journals. This is teacher's marking paper. This is fluorescent orange lined paper. This is a potato print in really bright colors. I'm sure it's totally flashing out on the camera, but it's fluorescent pink on orange construction paper. Um, this is coffee dyed dotted paper. This is an 1899 seed catalog image. Easter egg dyed paper. Oh, and I forgot to mention the signature. So in this book, we have four signatures on this side and two signatures on that side. More of the um, vintage seed catalog, avocado dyed dotted paper, more of that potato print. More magic paper and jelly printing. And um, now we're on to the second signature. This is more of the um, seed catalog. And then we have invoice triplicate and it comes in pink, white, and red. Or sorry, pink, yellow, and white. Um, then we have cabbage dyed large format encyclopedia. This is coffee dyed paper with a doily imprint. This is a page from an anatomy coloring book. Some purple paper, some certificate paper. This is bullet journal dotted paper. And at the center of the signature, we have this vintage illustration um, of the fall of meteors. More of the bullet journal, certificate paper, coffee dyed doily, anatomy coloring book, and then that invoice triplicate again, and that's a seed catalog image, 1901. This is indigo dyed dotted paper, and this is Easter egg dyed um, lined paper. This is indigo dyed paper. Uh, this is actually, I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but it's actually a macro shot of a, a white rose. This is yellow lined paper. And this is just a fun kind of mandala paper. And more indigo dyeing. 
And this was um, folded shibori style, so it creates like a mirror. Cabbage dyed teacher's marking paper. More coffee dyed doily. More of that shibori paper. More of the macro image of the flower and more shibori dyeing, indigo, and um, Easter egg, more indigo. And then this is um, a picture of flowers from a vintage gardening book. And then this is um, jelly printed music paper, more of the magic paper. And this is just um, a vintage book image of a really cool like plate, a black and white plate of all sorts of kind of magical creatures and a jelly print. This is vintage wallpaper, more jelly printing. And then this is um, the center signature, um, the center of the signature, the final signature on this side. And it's these beautiful birds. the other side of that book page with the black and white image more magic paper more jelly printing on music paper and more of those flowers and then um, when you get to the end there's this kind of checked um, brown and sort of light pinky brown um, paper then we get to the end and now we're at the beginning again to this journal the butterfly side so let's just move the tie back here. And when you open it, again, you're greeted with the same. Um, this, this is the paper that's on the outer sides of the journal. And then this is the paper on the inner sides. So this is a vintage gardening book image and a jelly print, another jelly print. Some blue paper. This is um, an image of dandelions. Some magic paper in a different color. Teacher's marking paper. Orange construction paper. This is just a nice like um, handmade paper. And then the center of this signature is these lovely butterflies. And then the back side or the other side to all of those papers that I just described. dandelions again more jelly print and the second signature on this side more jelly printing more butterflies teachers marking paper more magic paper this is fluorescent yellow lined paper this is Easter egg dyed paper and then another um, seed catalog image. This is children's composition paper. And then the center of the signature is actually one of um, the digitals that I've worked on. Um, it's like these really bright pink, lovely birds. And then the other side of all the papers that I've just described, another seed packet image. This is a fun, um, sort of marks that happen with Easter egg dyeing paper. More of the magic paper. More butterflies. More jelly printing. And then at the end of this, on the inside of the book, there's actually a fabric pocket right here with some nice lace just to kind of add a little bit of something in the middle. So this journal um, just ties back up again. You just kind of pull both sides like so and then you can tie it up um, so these journals will go into my Etsy shop probably later today or tomorrow definitely by the end of this weekend is my goal um, and they um, all of my social media information including the link to my shop will be down below in the description box and I thank you so much for tuning in have a great day